Welcome to Ring the Bell, everyone. This is DS. And I'm Lola Star. And I am doing a little <laughs> Jughead. I just realized how Jughead is like really small head because it's like really filling up here. So. <laughs> but we're going to talk about Royal Rumble. Royal Rumble. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, we have a different like temperature here, but for sure. Let's start from NXT TakeOver. Sam Roberts needs to settle his tea kettle. Okay, he probably just read whatever he had in front of him. Nah. It's a hey, TakeOver worthy. Like, whoa, Bianca Belair, she's a good athlete, but like, look, look at the list of women's champions. Wow. You think it was a work? Yeah. There is uh, someone on Raw that keeps saying Sasha Banks is an asshole. Like but a that's personal that... opinion. You know, he shouldn't talk like that. That's very rude. <laughs> anyway, so I think it was a work. And I think it sets up the dynamic pretty well. Yeah, it kind of helps her get over even more too, because I gave her something to... Yeah, and people like was really... um. And they were fighting for her. They were like, mm -hmm. um, did he really just say that? Mr. Sam, you can kiss my ass. So let's talk about the match. First off, she looked really good. Loved Ooh. her gear. Oh, uh, Bianca, duh. Oh, okay, okay. Bianca with that little bead on the hair mm -hmm. was really interesting. What? It was like, keep popping out later in the match. Oh, yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> and she was wearing my girl, Art by Nash, with her little illustration all over her gear. Oh, so really? That was cute. So mm -hmm. she incorporated like fans' mm -hmm. artwork into Yeah, she did like a fashion uh, illustration of Bianca and then she took it and like stuck it everywhere. That's really cute. Yay. Bianca definitely knows the aesthetics yeah. and like the attitude of the younger fans. Yeah. I think that's definitely. her gig. I'm on the the tent. The match was very interesting. It was good. I actually really liked it. I thought Shayna dominated a little too much, but I liked the fact that Bianca was selling it, but she was also like powering out of a lot of She was really too. good selling. Yeah. It was very different dynamic from Kyrie and Shayna, mm -hmm. which I really appreciated because we've seen that for a while, even yeah. though it was all very good. And even with Ember, because she kind of ran through Ember too. And like, very it true. was always like, they survived the match as opposed to like winning it. But I felt like Bianca just was genuinely screwed over. I just really, really like Shayna. Like <laughs> even still, joint manipulation. Oh, like how she's always- Yeah. Okay. It's, she's so good at that. It Ooh, looks she is. so- Okay. uncomfortable. Yeah, that's true. I'm kind of living for it. I'm always in the edge of my seat when I'm watching her match. Ugh. Like, it's so cringy. <laughs> well, what do you think about Bianca's performance? Oh, she did great. And I love her, um, that spot she does where, like, she'll run, jump off, do the back flip, and then drop kick him. Mm -hmm. That's, and then the, the front flip, too. She just does it with such ease. Like, it's, mm -hmm. it's like she does it in her sleeve. So I have to say, I haven't watched too many matches of her. I watched her Mayon Classics match last oh, year. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she seemed a little nervous. In this match? Yeah. I see her with tremendous potential. Like, oh, yeah. she will be the star. This isn't her match yet. I don't think she, like, quite got there yet in this match. Are you trying to say she wasn't takeover <laughs> Attack him. I'm just saying this is not her full potential. Oh, I think she okay. has a lot to show. I'm actually okay. glad that she didn't win here. I can't say that, but I hope that. she'll win the next time, or like, I hope there is a next time. I mean, she technically did win, but unfortunately the ref wasn't there. And I love the, how she, like, she really was good at telling the story too, because like she did, it's just like, oh my gosh, just like ref, no! Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh! I like that. Like, yeah. she was very good at acting. Yeah, but I think there's a couple more um, championship matches in her that she mm -hmm. has to, like, win over. This wasn't 100% that she showed. Okay. She has more to show, and she will bring that match with Shayna Baszler. What do you think about her undefeated streak ending? But see, that's the thing, though. It wasn't just about the streak. Being undefeated mm -hmm. is a mindset. <laughs> yeah, she sounded like <laughs> a little Buddha right there. Like, she yeah. think it's all about the mind. I just kind of wish she could have had an undefeated streak, because I could see her having one. You know, some people just kind of anyway. did a little too much. <laughs> didn't really see how it was possible. Oh, we have to talk about Marina Schaefer. And J Jasmine Duke. Jasmine Duke. Oh, it was amazing watching them get just ragdolled <laughs> like that. That was awesome. What do you think about the face mask? They looked bad as running in, but they got like shattered by... I don't really see it with them. Okay, okay. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe because I haven't seen a lot of their work just yet. So let's move to Royal Rumble. We have to say, we came in with a lot of expectations. Because last year, it was pussy popping. <laughs> <laughs> to quote Cameron. Pussy Pop and Royal Rumble. Let's talk about the setup of the stadium. It was different. It was very different. I liked it. I kind of 
I liked it. It was, it was minimal. Different. It was a baseball stadium. That's why they like designed it this way. I'm like a little sick of like all the same setup all the time. So okay. I'm down for a little different, a little different stuff. Two championship matches we had. Asuka mm. versus Becky Lynch. Mm. This match was very meh to me. I don't know if I if it's because of everything that happened after, but I completely forgot what happened. Yeah, that's match. what I was saying. I was like, it was meh, to, but towards the end. I mean, there was a few spots like with mm-hmm. uh, when they were on the apron and Asuka mm-hmm. went for that uh, swing neck breaker off mm-hmm. the side. It was oh, a yeah. little off because like Becky felt weird, mm-hmm. but I was like, okay, okay, I see what you're going for. Mm-hmm. Mostly, like I said, towards the end had me on edge because it was like, okay, this armor, oh, Asuka lock, this armor, oh, Asuka lock, roll up, and then... Yeah, um, there was a lot of submission going yeah, on. Yeah. Asuka won with the modified Asuka lock. I think a lot of people were really shocked. I was shocked that she tapped. I was like, mm-hmm. no way. Right? Because I didn't even expect her to get into Rumble, so I was like, well, what the f*** is she going to do now? <laughs> I was like, she's just going to pop up on Raw and just take over, or yeah. what? At first, when Becky Lynch tapped, I was like in shock. Yeah, I, like, I How did not dare that. can you do that to Becky Lynch? Right. But I think this all worked out really well now that we've seen the whole like week pan out it raised Asuka really nicely because Asuka basically won her title because Ronda Rousey attacked Becky and Charlotte at TLC and oh I think, so she needed a clean win. yeah I think a lot of Asuka fans were upset that Asuka didn't get like the actual win but she just basically took the, just opportunity. Took the opportunity yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. she needed this to look strong okay so I think it was great for Asuka yeah so let's move to the next match Ronda Rousey versus Sasha Banks okay can I just say Ronnie served a look like for real I did like that both it did, looked amazing but it didn't hold a candle to Sasha Banks though I'm just saying you loved her that much yeah, even her jacket. You believe in her. I am a boss believer, <laughs> yes. Honestly, I have never rooted so hard for Sasha. I think it was the first time she won the title from Charlotte. I've never rooted that hard for her. Oh, since really? Then. Yeah. So this match. It was I, good. I it was, was impressed. really good. I was very impressed. Yeah. Ronda and like Sasha where they're like taunting each other, like trying mm-hmm. to see who the best person is. Yeah. Like Ronda was using three amigos and she was doing Yeah. Like, oh. like, I was like, oh. It's yeah, like Ronda's good. getting comfortable. Uh-huh. I really like some of the spots like the arm bar outside. Yeah. That was really cool. But my favorite part was when like Sasha Banks, her gear like came out. We've seen some incidents where like divas, they like, I don't know, like they lost their gear or like the oh. boots came out or something like that yeah, so they yeah, were like yeah. struggling through it mm-hmm. but Sasha Banks I don't know if she did it on purpose or whatever but she used it to her advantage oh yeah yeah and she choked yeah maybe that was a part of it then maybe I, but I've seen her doing this so I was like oh maybe she like oh but maybe she was just selling because Aunt Rana had put her in the arm bar yeah like, either way it was genius it was good yeah it was good it looked amazing it kind of reminded me of Takeover that moment with her and Bailey. so right? I was like wow okay. like I haven't seen this much fire from Sasha Banks since Takeover match Charlotte Sasha match yeah that yeah that's great. right Thinking to you. But she was vicious in this match. Yeah. She, throughout this whole story, she was yeah. like the star of it, to be honest. She was the badass bitch in yeah. the house, and I haven't seen that since. And she's been working heel, like mm-hmm. with Rhonda. And I love it. And I love it, yeah. She needs to be heel. Why uh-huh. is she trying to be all goody goody? Because she's got Bailey. She's got a uh, babysit. She's gotta lose her. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent match. I uh, love Sasha Banks in it. Like, she did, of course, lose. We've, we've, we've been new. We've been new. Oh, what? You know what? Everyone's a winner. She showed an amazing match. Oh, and then don't forget. Oh, yeah. You know, like, tease? You have to tease when people are, like, really excited. Mm-hmm. Are we excited? <laughs> I was at one point. But I feel like they took too long now. Yeah, absolutely. So it's, like, a two different thing. Like, the tease has been there for so long where we're, like, not excited about it anymore. Mm-hmm. But also, two of them in NXT. Well, three, because Shayna's there, too. Yeah, but mm-hmm. two of them are not seasoned yet. So yeah. do you have to wait for them to, like, get trained or, like, what But then that would mean yet? Ronnie would stay past Mania. Okay. Let's go to the actual Rumble match. For Royal Rumble, we're just going to go through the list. Well, ladies first. <laughs> Lacey Evans. Lacey Evans. She looked good. I thought she was going to wear something else, though, but I still liked it. And then her hat. Oh, like her hat. Okay, yeah, she looked good. Yeah, she... I want to start something new, actually, from okay. this video. It's called Bless Her Heart. Bless Her Heart. Oh. <laughs> see of our patron, Lido. Bless Her Heart. I'm going to give Bless Her Heart to Lacey Evans. Bless her heart. Because Bless Her Heart. She really tried. I thought she did fine. Like, I mean, it was a little shaky in the beginning. There was this really funny moment where the commentator was like, Lacey Evan is like very athletic, blah, blah, blah. Got a great wow. grappling technical style. Very impressive athleticism from Lacey. What's the best strategy to conserve energy if you're in this hurdle? Oh, when she did the kip up. Yeah. Oh, f- 
She just had the jitters. Give her, give her a break. So bless her heart. Natalia, she stayed in for it. She was in it for a while. 56 minutes. But you know like how in like women's division, Natalia has been kind of like a glorified jobber for a little bit? Really? I never thought for of For a her long time, way. I thought she was kind of a glorified jobber. No, because she gets enough wins and losses where she, I would never consider her a jobber. For me, at least, since that TLC and then Ronda Rousey match, I think she's like I think she's solid. a glorified filler. I think she's a solid competitor right now. Yeah. So I did like seeing Natalia that way. Number three was Mandy Rose. Oh, she looked good. She had a pretty good run she too. Good. Number four, Liv Morgan. She was. Now why did you live like that? That was just so uncalled for. She was ready to pop off too. And she popped right out. And then she came back to have her moment. Yeah. She did. That's true. That's true. The, the glass is half full, not empty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Number go. five, Mickey James with her little she really Native American yeah. look. She Pocahontas. looked very good. Did she do anything? I mean, she did her triple botch again. <laughs> Like, it was the same spot she did with Gail. Gail. Yeah, no. everybody's been posting about it. Um, I think that's a tribute to Gail. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's yeah. go with that. Yeah. yeah. Number six, Ember Moon. Apparently, she injured her arm during this match. Yeah, I didn't see. A lot of people were uh, blaming Alexa Bliss for this. Match. Alexa wasn't even in yet. She was eliminated by Alexa Bliss later. Well, oh, Ember sure. Moon specifically said it was not because of Alexa Bliss. So we are in a game now. Finding who it is. We're gonna <laughs> investigate. No, we're not gonna find who it is. It was natural uh, disaster. Number seven, Billy Kay. She was just hanging out out there um, doing a little strategy. I'm waiting for Peyton. Number eight, Nikki Cross. I think Nikki Cross had the more memorable spot in the front. Did she now? I thought I loved her spots. She I like, mean, it was funny when she first came out though, because she pushed. She attacked Billy. She pushed Billy. Number nine, Peyton Royce. Number ten, Tamina. And number eleven was our first surprise of the night, Zaya Lee. Zaya. Who is, oh, that's, who is this? I mean, I'll just say for one, I popped. You popped? No. <laughs> Not at all. I was like, what? It was a surprise for sure. Like, I was surprised that she came out. <laughs> like, yeah, I, yeah, it definitely, was, it definitely was a surprise. I mean, oh, it, yeah. you know how, like, they had um, that Indian superstar for WrestleMania Battle Royale match? Yeah, Kavita, yeah. I think. So, you know, they have to give something to China, too. To appeal to the Chinese market, she'll be known as the first ever Chinese woman in to WWE. To be in the Women's Rumble, Rumble. Yeah, all that stuff. So, good for her. 12, Sarah Logan. 13, Charlotte Flair. Woo! Finally, some like main eventer came out. Hold on, wait a minute now. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, Mickey James definitely has main evented. Billy Kay is iconic, so when has she not ever main evented? I'm just talking about the current main event, like the ones that people think might win. Right, like Billy and Peyton. <laughs> You know how like last year Becky Lynch and Sasha Banks came out, the first two, and they were like, okay, they might win this. Kyrie Stane came out next, number 14. Oh! <laughs> okay, I have to do it. The fans want it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Kyrie, oh! Wait, is it the house? Sure, why not? I mean, I love Kyrie Sane. The only joy that I got out of their so-called surprises was being able to go, Oi. Sure, she's not a champion. She's not a man class winner, so I don't know why she came out. I can't believe it. Are you sure? But I like seeing her. I wanted Tony Storm to come. Right, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah, I'm like, but um, I guess something didn't work out with the flight schedule. I don't know. Number fifteen was the legend. Here's to the greatest. <laughs> So Maria Kanellis is not fired yet, that's for sure. Maria Kanellis came out with, um, her booty was like half out. What did you think about a little cut on her butt? No, let's talk about her mesh that was like Cheeto orange instead of like nude that like matched her skin. <laughs> It was like orange, it was. Maybe she like forgot to do like the tanning. She oh, went maybe to. that's what it was. <laughs> yeah. Her hair was really nice. I loved it. it Very was, like, red. Super red. She was like... taking Eva Marie's gig. No, she did it first. <laughs> okay. What then do you Eva. think about the whole like Alicia Fox and Maria interaction? That was so bad. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I, I liked it at first. You would live for it. No, I lived at first, but then when Maria 
threw the hat down and it didn't even break. And then Alicia started throwing herself. I was like, that hat is durable. Yeah, because she stomped on it like five times. And it's like, you know, it would have been funny if she would have threw it out and Alicia eliminated her. Oh, that would have been, been funny. Okay, she, okay, you got the brain. You got she, the brain. She Because I can see Alicia diving because she's crazy. Maria was here to represent the diva. The diva. Got a standoff going on here. Hashtag diva. Do you think she did it? I did. Up until the whole thing with her and Fox. Okay, okay. <laughs> there was Naomi. She had a spot with Mandy Rose. Yes. Which was really cool. And I she... was nervous. I thought she was gonna fall at first. Oh my god, when she, she was, was like... walking around, yes. that was really cool. But I think Casey Kenton Zero is coming for her gig. Yeah, she might have won. <laughs> I think she. Was... I mean, she's a freaking ninja warrior. That's, like that's kind of. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Number seventeen, Candice LeRae. Oh. Her face off with Zelina, I like, but I was irritated because nobody popped for it. What is it between them? Damn, that's probably why then. They had a feud in NXT. So Candice LeRae was a very like a big name in the Indies, right? Yes. But they haven't done anything with exactly. her. Exactly. Like I don't really, I don't really Maybe hear that's about why her. Too. She didn't show us anything crazy. Number 18, Alicia Fox with that crazy dance. Oh, <laughs> um, she's trying to get some airtime. Number 19, Casey Cantanzaro. Wait, please tell me this is, is it Casey? Is it Casey? Is it Casey? Is it? Yes, let's go! Well, she did amazing. I liked uh, her and Foxy going back and forth. Then when she head scissors her out, mm -hmm. Foxy just like. Every time she comes in, she like impresses people. Mm -hmm. When she came out first, I was like, I was actually excited when I saw her. I was okay. like, okay. I but like, when okay. she got into the ring, I was so into it. I was like, okay, you mm -hmm. are perfect for a rumble. Like, please come back more. Number 20, Zelina Vega with her weird costume. Yeah, I didn't get that. <laughs> I think it was like a game reference, like a Street Fighter maybe? She decided to hide under the ring. <laughs> Only to be chased out by Horny. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Horny. That's what they used to call him and like back when they were trying to be PG. Yeah, they gave that legend surprise to Hornswoggle. They gave the comedy spot to Hornswoggle, not Jillian Hall. Number 21, Ruby Riot, and then she brought all her gang and she started Ruby like Riot. killing everyone. And they started a riot. That, that actually was kind of I was like I was like, okay, okay. I was into it. All right. Good all strategy. right. Let's like yeah. let's like actually be a riot mm -hmm. or have a riot, whatever. Uh number 22 is Dana Brooke. Yes, playtime is over! So I was watching this show with a couple of people who didn't really watch women's wrestling. Mm -hmm. So she came out, Dana Brooke came oh, out, and I was like, she ran. she's not the best. But then she was doing really well in the Rumble. I keep telling you, she's good, but... So I think she has something in her, and she's trying to prove us wrong. You think? <laughs> and then number 23, Io Melina? Shirai. Shit. I think this is Io Shirai. Io Shirai! Okay, I'm not mad about it. Random? Yes. Miss EO! Get them. Go save your friends. Go f them up! Oh, oh. EO okay. Shirai was a surprise. She came out to help out Tyree Sane. Right, right. Then Victoria came out. Rhea Ripley. She's not even the champion anymore. Why is she out here? Right. Yeah. Maybe she was supposed to win originally, but then they changed it because of what yeah, Tony was going through. Yeah, I have no idea. Then Victoria came out. Uh, it's Sonya Deville. Okay, okay, okay. Alexa to, Bliss. Okay, they're trying to hold. Alexa Bliss got huge pop. Of course. Yeah, she's almost like a face. Of course. I think this could have been a good good time to like turn her face. Number 27 was Bailey, and then number 28 was Lana. Right, and then because she was hurt, Melina came out, right? It was Becky Lynch who came out and then replaced Lana. I think this Royal Rumble was, I have to say, pretty boring the first 50 minutes or so. All of it was boring. The last. 10 minutes was very entertaining. No, man. What? I mean, I was happy with the result, but... You don't like Becky Lynch because it was Lana? Just, there was nothing interesting about the Royal Rumble at all. Wait, Becky Lynch came out to replace Lana. That was a big surprise. People were losing their shit when that happened. I, mean, I was, was losing it. It, it was, was so cool. Uh, it was bittersweet for me because, you know, I like Lana, but at the same time, I wanted Becky to win, and she did, so I'm like, okay, I mean, <laughs> like, uh... I love the surprise at the end where Becky Lynch came out. The whole last... Four or five people was amazing, like Becky Lynn, Charlotte Flair, Nia Jax, Carmella. Yeah. What did you not like about it? Tell me. The lack of moments, the lack of legends. Let's it just talk, wasn't 2018. Let's talk about the lack of legends. Last mm -hmm. one was the first ever Women's Royal Rumble. Yep. I still 
think they should have mixed in couple legends. Yeah, like definitely. Just bring one or two. Right. And you was, have the people. And it was just so NXT heavy. And then it was like people that aren't even really doing anything. Exactly. It was NXT even... heavy, but like not the people, nope. not the people that you want to see. And then technically Maria wasn't even a pop or a legend because we've already seen her. And yeah, she's, she's with the current roster. And yeah. she's current. Yeah. I mean, of course, it was so cool that she was there repping the divas, but mm-hmm. like she was the only one. So the surprise wise, so. it was a little lacking. Yeah, because like... Because that's what we want from Royal Rumble, like, I guess. where was Eve? Where was Victoria? Where was Melina? Where was uh, Candace? In the surprise factor, definitely lacked. So, what do you think about Becky Lynch winning? In this I fashion? was very happy with it. Mm-hmm. I was happy that she got it instead of Charlotte. Do you think it was way too predictable? Because I thought Charlotte could have won this too. I don't know. I liked it. I thought it was pretty I good. It was okay. I I I, I love the last couple of minutes for sure. Like I thought it was like, oh, is it Charlotte? Is it Becky? I wasn't too sure. And when Becky won, I was happy. Like we're a rumble to WrestleMania. That's like a very classic storyline. It kind of sucks though that Nia hurt Becky again. What? Because when she pushed her off the steps, she legitimately hurt her knee. I thought that was just a word. It's a cave. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. But let's talk about Nia Jax. Ooh. Oh. Number 30. <laughs> F- out of here, our truth. Cool? I think that's what you wanted. From that, Nia this new Nia? The one that was reborn on the night of Royal Rumble, mm-hmm. I am living for. Absolutely. She came out by Mustafa, and then uh, I thought she was going to get rid of Ray too, but then... Yeah. I mean, and she took that. She ate that. When Nia Jax was standing, and then Randy Orton came out with a hot, steamy body. Damn. That was, that, that, <laughs> that this would, is the Nia that I live yeah. for and that I've wanted. I just wish they would have her like do this with the girls, because it's even more believable. Mm-hmm. So it was the first time in... A long, long as time where women got yeah. attacked by men. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Amazing. I was, I was shook because I actually stopped watching Royal Rumble after the women because I forgot that that was even a possibility. I did and not getting, think it was a possibility. I got all of these DMs and messages. I was like, "Did you see Nia?" And I was like, "What do you mean?" And like, I got the video and I was like, "Oh it was wow, so good." Yes. And you know, Nia legitimately looked like. I mean, when like Beth Phoenix went in, I was like, "Cause she's still kind of little, a little bit." Yeah. Yeah. Nia Jax. Yes. She. <laughs> this is the irresistible force. Like Rey Mysterio and Mustafa Ali next to Nia Jax look like okay, like they will get their ass kicked yes. like, for real. Uh, so we talked about how Nia Jax was being buried for like a little yeah. bit, for oh, a second, a little bit, for a second, just a little bit. <laughs> but I think WWE had a plan. They had a plan. They were like, okay, we can kill her a little bit, but we're gonna bring her back. We'll revive her at yeah. Royal Rumble. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think it was, it was a good. It was a fine pay per view. I guess I just my expectation was so high. I was very let down. Yeah. Except for like. Becky the, winning the, the Royal Rumble, and then Nia. No, that was really good. All right, so let's move to Raw. Monday Night Raw. First match is Alexa Bliss and Mickey James versus... The Sisters of Samoa. Yeah, they still haven't decided their names no, yet, they right? Haven't. Tamina and Nia Jax. So Nia Jax, I love, love, love Nia Jax. What happened to her after the whole Royal Rumble situation? Mm-hmm. She just like pushed out now she's just, Dean Ambrose. She's just going crazy on everybody. Yeah, and then she picked up both Alexa Bliss and, and Mickey James, James and just destroyed them. That was awesome. Haven't seen that in a while. This was more of a face move said from Alexa, didn't you think? Yeah, I guess, like, in a way, it's just kind of working. Maybe because they're not sure yet. But no, but they were talking crap in there. Um... They were talking about, it's a lipstick on the pig or something yeah, like yeah. that. Although, she loves pigs. So. They even it's mentioned a, Larry Steve. Actually, yeah, I'm like, it's actually a compliment. Sh- yeah. <laughs> I want to see Alexa face. I, I, I'm liking this little different moveset. Mm-hmm. And I think this is a good time to turn her face. Yeah, I, don't I agree. Know. I don't know. She's a little... I think she could do well as face. No. Yeah, and then like, her moveset's much better as face. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah, sure. her new insult to injury. That was beautiful. So, Nia Jax and Tamina is going to be in the Elimination Chamber. And the next match was Natalia and Dana Brooke versus Liv Sarah Morgan. Logan and Liv Morgan. Dana popped off backstage, and I was so happy. I was living for all of that. I'm not only better than Ember. <laughs> I'm better than you. (laughs) 
I was actually, even though like Riot Squad is the team, like they've been the team for a long time, but mm -hmm. I almost wanted to see Natalia and Dana Brooke go. I definitely wanted them to win. I was it, like, sorry. Because they were the only one going in with the storyline and we were like, I kind of want to see that. Yeah. You know? And Dana definitely showed it in the ring mm -hmm. too. I like the aerial spot off the apron. And oh, then she didn't like... take the loss either. I was like, oh my God. Do you think there's something there? I hope so. Like, I hope so. Do you so. think maybe like, okay, this is like really crazy, but mm -hmm. what if she challenges Ronda next? Even though she'd lose clear. Clearly, but didn't they already have a match? Oh well, technically they had a beatdown. Oh, when that was yeah, just yeah, on yeah, YouTube yeah. when yeah, she yeah. came out. And, I see, I see, I yeah. see. But what if she was like a serious competitor against her? For like fast lane. Yeah, even though it would just be a blowout, but that's a start. This could be a little start of something new for Dana because mm -hmm. she's definitely showing the whole next batch of Ronda Rousey, Becky Lynch, Bailey situation. So they're working the smart crowd from Royal Rumble. They all traveled to see this. Mm -hmm. So Ronda was obviously getting booed. I'm kind of surprised the creative team didn't see it coming when like Ronda just came in like, I respect Sasha Banks. People are gonna boo her. Like yeah. <laughs> you know they are ready to hear about Becky Lynch, right? Yeah, but maybe that's what they want. Yeah, maybe. maybe. But Ronda. Ronda kind of lost it during the promo. All right, all right, you got me to stutter. Good job. Ha, uh, you guys make me Oh, you guys got me to yeah. flip off my word or something like that. I was like, oh, You, got, you guys gave me stutter. I, I was fine with it. Were you not fine with I it? I don't like when she talks. I wish she didn't. I, uh -huh. know. I liked it, I liked it. At least somebody. Did. Um, It was pretty bad, <laughs> but it was interesting to watch. I guess it was it was more entertaining in the way that, oh, Ronda Rousey is stuttering. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of funny. Bailey came out out of nowhere. The, I think the rumor is that they pushed Bailey out earlier okay. um, because Rhonda was stuttering and like she also, kind of forgot what she was saying. Yeah, <laughs> I think Rhonda was supposed to cut her big promo on Sasha Banks and then talk about. I'm here for the open challenge. But she didn't do any of that. So Michael Cole, Cole was like, this is an open challenge. I guess Bailey is coming. Like she, he explained the entire thing that Rhonda was supposed to say. Yikes. Um, so Bailey came out, she cut her promo. The most generic promo of all time. Oh, like she definitely lost her character completely. I think it's gone for sure. Like Bailey, why do you even bother doing that f***ing like balloon thing if you're not gonna do it? Cause that's what works, I guess. Bailey and Sasha, that, couple like worked because they had a very different persona and it was like one is a boss and one is like a like a elementary school student yeah, <laughs> so, like yeah. that was like a really odd pairing but she completely lost it so i'm just like whatever like, meh. ronda and bailey match it was a little botchy here and there okay i think com i think there's definitely a little lack of communication between ronda and bailey compared to that of sasha maybe like she was a little thrown off because of the crowd reaction maybe so maybe, maybe that got in her so head. there were some little botchy spots but it definitely picked up like last five minutes and then bailey had some really good spot like bailey to bailey outside uh the leg oh my god the leg lock was amazing okay i do remember that i do remember that it was really cool and then the bank statement oh yeah that was yeah. cool but it's not kind of just like getting cheap pop okay because like nothing's working for you so you're using ah. friend stuff their tag team and then the ending okay. when uh ronda did that flipping flying arm bar stuff but definitely overall bailey needs to find herself again because if they are indeed going to be the inaugural women's tag team champion she better get her character right <laughs> and then becky came out my man <laughs> my man I, I i mean the man and the segment was Amazing. I think Rhonda got back into her feet. I was really just loving Becky, to be honest. I didn't care about what Rhonda Well, what was do you think about how their characters are positioned? Like, Rhonda is the one who has, who had success after success and the success. Yeah, when you were on the pre-show of WrestleMania, I had the best debut match of the history of WWE. When you were at NXT training, I was already champion in this, this, this. I think that's my WWE, and then it was all just given to her. And I know, but what do you what do you think about like that kind of? Oh, Ronda is like the successful one, and then Becky's the one she had to like climb up the ladder herself. Like it's uh, that's how they're positioning. I think. Oh, like, it like makes me want to side with Becky even more. Yeah, because it's almost like Charlotte 2.0. Yeah, and I think it's a good storyline because on top. Top of their little incident mm -hmm. with the whole like bloody Monday Night Raw situation, oh, yeah. like that's there. But also their characters are positioned so well. They're obviously putting Ronda as like a heel. Yeah, but I think it's she's turning heel. But it's not like one person's evil. Like we just side with Becky because of her struggle to be on the top. I think it's more elegant than other just usual storylines. So now that you say that, then maybe the four horsewomen from both sides will end up helping them and and being a part of the match not like uh actually in the match so maybe it'll be like a okay the side has all the 
horse women of the WWE and all and on this. Yeah, because a lot of people were talking about, oh, like four horse women doesn't make sense because like this person's heel, this person's face. I don't think that matters really. Yeah, much it's about the storyline. It's yeah. about respect for their home. Exactly. Turf. Now that I'd probably be yeah. here for. It'll be I'm... so much better than just four versus four match. Yeah. Yeah. So I love how they are positioned. I love the storyline going. I'm sick of just oh I'm evil. I'm nice. There's a champion belt. I'm I don't like that storyline. Yeah. So. Let's move to SmackDown. Not much going on other than the Becky Lynch, the man. Um, she came out and then she cut a promo about kind of a follow up yeah, on yeah. Raw the night before, and she was like, Yeah, I'm proud. That I was on a pre-show last year. Yeah. But look at me now, bitch. Yep. You know, that's like all really cool. And of course, you know, Char had to come out and take all the credit for who she is because the man learned lessons from the queen. What do you think about it? Okay, it was good storytelling. Mm -hmm. And it was perfect because that's what we all think anyways, that Charlotte's is trying to like yeah. insert herself and take, 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 take. I loved how Becky just was like... Bam. <laughs> yeah. I I mean, think they should have left it at that. Yeah. Charlotte had to have the last say. Yeah. What I'm really interested in the storyline is that usually like they take time to mm -hmm. like decide, oh, which one I'm going to like challenge, blah, blah, yeah. blah. But they went right at it right after Red yeah, Rumble. Cause they, because they knew what people wanted. Yeah. So they did it. So how are they going to build it until WrestleMania? I'm kind of really curious about that. I mean, we're definitely going to see Charlotte Flair insert herself in there somehow. Oh god. That is the current plan, I think. I would ra honestly I would rather Becky just have her moment and we get another rematch from last year where yeah. it's Oscar versus Charlotte. Like I would hate that, but I'd rather but that than I have to say though, Charlotte is in everything. But when Charlotte's in anything, she makes the gold out of it. But that's the thing though. Like that's what I was talking about. Like how can you make gold and show that you can do it too if somebody else is always there. But Becky Lynch versus Oscar was kind of a kind But of see a but the, there because there's no there's no inspiration right there. There's no passion behind that story. The real beef is her and Ronnie. I mean, I could see that match yeah. going like really good too, just singles match, but mm -hmm. I wouldn't be against Charlotte being in there because she's awesome. Whenever she's in the match, she's like a spot creator. She makes that spots. You just sprinkle it on and it's like, oh, the flavor? Yeah, more like MSG. So you're addicted like, to Charlotte then? I am. I'm addicted. I am addicted to Charlotte Flair's her spots and her moon souls and all that. It stuff. is. I don't know what kind of storyline they're gonna put in. I can see them tying in because they're definitely like some. There is relationship un unresolved with Ronda and okay, Charlotte. It's okay because Charlotte wasn't a part of it. They'll be fine. Anyways, <laughs> Becky. Yeah, I think the, I think she'll be in there. Somehow. So far, what do you think about Becky Lynch and Ronda Rousey? It's I'm just here started. for it. You're I'm here, here for, for it. it. I'm team Becky till the end. So who do you think Asuka's gonna face then? That's a big question. Carmella? Maybe Carmella. Carmella and Naomi? Naomi and Mandy, maybe. But maybe it'll be a fatal four way, because they oh, have to put Sonya? they have to put Mella in there. Oh, I was thinking Sonya. But. No. Another thing about uh, Raw and SmackDown, Raw had this qualifying match for Elimination Chamber. SmackDown doesn't have that many tag teams. Who will be the three, three team from SmackDown? Sonya and Mandy. Sonya and Mandy. And then the Iconics. Iconics. And who do you think? And then, like, the... technically, they still have the Empress and the Glow, because they never technically broke up. They just mm. stopped doing it. Or um, whoever could help Mandy. I mean, Naomi against Mandy and stuff. Because on Raw, they have I would rather see Natalia and Dana. Dana seems honest. so entertaining. I did not think I'll be sitting here saying Dana's entertaining. <laughs> but she's she's proving me wrong. Oh, it's so hard to be woke. Oh, next week there is Alicia Fox and Nikki Cross teaming up. Mm -hmm. The crazy team. I'm kind of down for that too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And they're definitely going to lose. They're definitely going to lose. In the main event, because they'll probably have Sasha and Bailey main event. You know, just got to roll out the red carpet for them, so. For sure. They deserve it. Yeah. <laughs> Officially, it's a road to WrestleMania. Ooh, it's a bumpy road. <laughs> a lot of potholes. Okay, I'm really excited. Um, <laughs> I am not excited <laughs> at all because, like, I just know what's happening. And if Becky doesn't win, I'm done. We don't know who's gonna win. But that's what I'm saying. If, that's if Becky unpredictable. Does, if Becky does not win and uh, it goes to Charlotte or Ronda, I don't know. I might have to sit out a few episodes during the bell because <laughs> Elimination Chamber is really gonna kill me because I already know what's happening. And then if I have to sit through another year of Ronnie and Charlotte, just kill me. I think you just think you know what's happening, but they might be up for a little surprise. Cause who knew Saya Lee's gonna be out at Royal Rumble? Thank you so much for watching. You can find me at Nintendo Boy DS. And you can follow me at the Lola Star. Alright, bye. bye.